So you automatically generated your UV map, but you have no idea what this map means, how to read it, or why you're making it in the first place. Not a problem, in the next two minutes you'll understand all of that and more. Alright, let's do this. All you really need to know is that a UV map is the flat version of your 3D object. If you look on the right, you'll see a 3D object of a pyramid. And if you look on the left, you'll see its UV map. Now, if you're new to 3D, you might be wondering, how do we get this image from this object? But check this out. You see that? The UV map is just what the object looks like if you unfold it onto a flat area. The reason we want a flat 2D image is so that we can draw on it using the best art software available like Photoshop, Illustrator, and the GIMP. If I draw an X here on the UV map, an X will appear here on the 3D object. If I draw a square here, then you will see a square here on the object. If I draw the world here on the map, you will then see the world here on the object. There is no limit to what you can draw on these maps, which means the same 3D object can look completely different depending on the texture map used. Also, we can stack multiple maps over the same object in order to simulate color, depth, light, transparent holes, or even a completely different shape entirely. We can also move texture maps while they're on the object in order to simulate motion. And it all starts with flattening your 3D object onto a 2D image. And that's it. You now know what UV maps are and how and why we make them. If you join me next video, I'll teach you the rules for how to make a good texture map that saves space and maximizes detail. Specifically, I'll be teaching you the Japanese game design method, which is the style that I use. This style is designed to keep the file size small while highlighting all the detail you need. And it is an extremely common style in Nintendo games like Smash Bros, Zelda, Metroid, and was also used in Guilty Gear XRD, which is the art style I plan to adopt for all future projects. Hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you around